Hey guys, it's Dave, and today I'm going to be doing a top five Funko Pops that I've bought this year. I was tagged by two awesome YouTubers, Tracy over at Tracy's Basement and Andy over at the 80s Nerds. Their link will be below. I'll also have some cards up here for them. Let's start. So my five uh, Funko Pops that I've got this year, they all come from different Funko Pop hunts I was on, and one comes from a subscription box that I do order and get. So, I mean, I did pay for that, so I guess that counts as one that I picked up. Th this list isn't for value or how much they're worth or how rare they are. This is really just your top five for the year that you absolutely love. My first one, my number five, is Jimmy McGill uh, from... Better Call Saul. I got this one um, more recently. I, I love this one just because one, I love the show. Two, I just think it's an awesome pop and I haven't seen it in any other Hot Topic or Barnes & Noble, Toys R Us, any other store yet. This is the only one I've seen and I picked it up and I like it. I think it's cool. Again, I love Better Call Saul. I love Breaking Bad. So this figure is really cool. I like it. And this is one of my, this is my number five favorite pop so far this year. Uh, my number four is one that I picked up. It's a PX Previews exclusive that I picked up at FYE on one of my Funko Pop hunts. And it is the Swamp Thing. Now this isn't the Glow in the Dark one or the Flocked one. I haven't been able to find those. But believe me, if I had the Glow in the Dark or Flocked one, this would be in place of this. But I do like this one out of the ones I picked up this year. I love the detail on it. The only thing I don't like is that they didn't paint the branches in the back brown. But I do absolutely love this one. I love the look. I love the red eyes. I just love... The detail on it with all the branches and leaves and everything I do like this one and I can't wait to get that flocked scented one if I can get my hands on that one but this is my number four favorite pop of this year so far number three is one of my favorite Disney movies um, I love this character I love this Disney movie I love the ride at Disney World and it is Dumbo um, I was so excited when I found this pop I love the Dumbo Pop. I think it's so cute, very adorable. Uh, this is the basic one, not any of the exclusives or anything. Those are impossible to find, or if you do find them there, the price is just ridiculous. But I just love this pop. Like I said, I grew up watching Disney movies and Dumbo, along with Pinocchio, well, two of my favorite. But I just love this pop. I love the look of it. I love the cuteness of it. It's just a cute pop. Yeah, I like that. My next one is another pop that I love this character growing up I watched this as a kid and I when I made this pop I knew I had to get this one and I got it and I love it and it is from the Sesame Street line it's the count I absolutely love the count and Oscar the Grouch are my favorite I do have Oscar um, he's packed stocked away somewhere because I don't have room to display them all but I love the count I just love the look of this the detail on it the green cape the the monocle the the goatee, the, the, the suit, the tuxedo, you know, the little tuxedo, whatever he's wearing. I just absolutely love this pop. I love that the Count growing up, even when we go to Sesame Place in the summer with the kids, I love seeing the Count. Um, just a cool character. So that's cool. That's my number two, is the Count. And my number one favorite pop that I've got this year so far came in a Funko powered subscription box. This came in the Smuggler's Bounty box. I think it was for May. It is the Star Wars, uh, the Bubba Fett pop. I absolutely love this pop. I love the mold. I love how he's flying. I absolutely love, this is my favorite part about it, is how they have the jetpack smoke and fire and flames and everything set up as the base. As you guys know, if you collect Star Wars, all Star Wars pops come with a base that you can take off. They actually made this one. The base was made from the fire and, and, and smoke and everything from his jetpack, which I, f I find that absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love the mold. I love how it's not the same mold of him just standing there. It's him, you know, his arms out, his legs look like he's taken off. He's got the gun in his hand. Really great pop. Love the detail on it. And that's it. So those are my top five pops. Um, let me know what you thought of my picks. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what your picks are. The three YouTube channels and fellow YouTubers that I'm going to tag in this are all YouTubers that I've been watching since before Lauren and I started this channel. So watch them today. I interact with them on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, 
they comment on my stuff we interact back and forth so i'm going to be tagging mike over at the grumpy nerd i would love to see his five i'm tagging ashley and mark over at nerd therapy and i am going to tag our buddy over in the uk hello kitsies so hello kitsies nerd therapy and grumpy nerd i would love to see your top five hopefully you watch mine let me know what you thought of my picks and remember guys hit up that subscribe button if you haven't hit up that red button yet hit it up get notifications of all our videos remember to find me on facebook twitter and instagram at everyday geek tv thanks guys adios